Thank you. I'm speaking on behalf of the Friends of Sunset Park Board of Directors. The MIG report states that most participants in the group discussions desire mitigation of the impacts of Santa Monica Airport operations. An analysis of the comment cards revealed that 81% of the participants want a change in the airport status, and this lines up with the two community surveys conducted by CAS, Matt, and OPA. Despite this, the staff report fails to support recommendations that would really make significant improvements at the airport. For example, we were disappointed that it ignores the option of shortening the runway by eliminating the use of the western parcel of land, which is not covered by the 1948 instrument of transfer and its perpetuity clause. Also missing is the city's ability to change the character of the businesses at the airport when all the leases expire in 2015. Therefore, Friends of Sunset Park urges the city council to direct staff to explore measures that would actually reduce the negative impacts of the airport, such as, one, actually investigating best practices at other airports and not just development proposals. Two, exploring the city's authority as landowner and proprietor, in particular its control over property leases and its ability to change the use of the western portion of the runway. Three, expansion of green space, including parkland and playing fields. And four, establishing a no new trips policy uh, for all future airport options. The staff report states that the 1984 agreement brought a negotiated peace. Really? Have they not heard all the yelling that's been going on for the past 28 years? As 2015 approaches, we want our city to stand up with the residents. As Kathy Larson wrote, the opportunity arises and the airport is ripe for change. I uh, have some copies of some emails that were sent to you today. I'm sure there were others, and I hope you have a chance to read them because they're very illuminating. Thank you.